And that is exactly why EULA deserves to be S tier. Okay, hold up a minute. Donald, sure, we can agree that in terms of physical qualities, EULA can outrank many others on the list. But when we take a look at the abyss usage rates, she falls off pretty hard. Yeah, Donald, she's not meta. You're not meta, Joe. You're like, what, 103? I'm 81 this year, dumbass. And plus, when was the last time you 36 star the abyss, Donald? The abyss is not an accurate representation of player skill level, Joe. That's why I don't participate in it. Absolute waste of time. You know what's a waste of time, Donald? Actually building Deya to be your main... Deya. What? It's pronounced Deya, not Deya. Get it right, Sleepy Joe. He's right, Joe. The accurate pronunciation should be Dia. It's what the English voice actors use. Don't bother Barack. He's already 104 years old. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. You know what, Donald? Talk to me when your Dia can out-DPS my Zinyan. I don't need to out-DPS your Zinyan, dipshit. My Dia is strictly played for E to support burning melt. The only thing you melted was your wallet when you decided to pull C6R5 Dia. At least I can afford to do it, Joe. What constellation is your Hutao sitting at? Being free to play is part of the fun and experiencing Genshin to the fullest. You wouldn't know, especially since everything you have is built off of Daddy's small loan. I think Joe has got a point here. The game isn't so difficult. It's to the point where you need constellations for anything. Plus, even if I were to spend any amount of Benjamins on this game, I'd go for C6R5 Yelan instead of whatever Dia is. Of course you would, you armpit-licking gremlin. You two are just meta-slaves who are blinded by damage per screenshot. Cringe lords in real life and cringe lords in game. My D ya crits for 100k per attack and burst and is one cycling everything in the game. My C0 F2P Hutao is doing the same. Dumbass want to know how much that costed me? Nothing, Donald. Just admit you wasted $3,000 on a pile of garbage. You know, Joe, your hotel may be stacked, but do you know what she's lacking? She's lacking nothing. A body tan, Joe, a body tan. The girl looks like she lives inside a coffin, for God's sakes. I think it's fair to say that in terms of combat strength, Hutao has far better floor and ceiling. After all, she is a limited character, so that much should be expected. I mean, limited character or not, how is a C6R5 five-star unit not even outperforming a C0 free-to-play five-star? This is just ridiculous. You're delusional, Joe. I mean, it must be rough being 105 years old. My Dia is dishing out one million damage during her burst. My Hu Tao is doing 1.3 per infusion cycle, dipshit. 0.3, what, thousand? million dumbass. Now, travelers, let's just agree that both of these units are more than capable in dealing with today's contents. What contents, Barack? You mean the 10 minutes of dailies that you get and the 15 minutes of abyss every month? Again, with the negativity. You know, this is why you only got four years in office. I also had four years with your mom. Why don't we talk about that? Hey, leave my mom out of this. My apologies. We shouldn't bully the elderly. Why do you keep bringing up my age? I'm not that old. Joe's right, Donald. I recall he recently only just turned to 100 years old, so let's not inflate the numbers here. I'm only 81 this year, for God's sakes. Only 81? Didn't you say your homeroom teacher in the first grade was Jesus? I was homeschooled for grade one and two, you dumbass. Donald, let's drop this. Schools weren't invented yet when Joe was in first grade. That explains why he can't think for himself and has to resort to being a meta-slave. Hey, at least I can actually clear what contents MiHoYo has managed to present us with. HoYoVerse. What? They rebranded to HoYoVerse. Did you miss the memo? It was sent out like a year ago. Why are you always derailing the subject when we talk about beating the game? Is it not embarrassing that someone who owns a C6R5 unit is still still unable to clear abyss like i said sleepy joe i don't bother with the abyss because it's not an accurate representation of player skill and my talents and time would be wasted on it you know donald we've heard you say that many times but come to think of it i don't believe i've ever seen you actually clear the abyss even once i did clear it back in patch 1.4 what'd you use to clear it don't tell me you used mogana donald what did you use to clear the abyss in patch 1.4 a freeze team what freeze team, Donald? It doesn't matter what freeze team I used to clear. The fact that I did clear the abyss should tell you enough. Answer the question, Donald. I mean, firstly, who didn't use Mogana during that era of the game? I didn't. I skipped Ganyu for Hu Tao. Neither did I. I was saving for Sino. Sino didn't come out until 3.1. What are you on about? Regardless of the point, plenty of people did not use Mogana to clear the abyss in patch 1.4. How did you even find out about Mogana anyways? I figured it out on my own. Right. And I suppose you also figured out burning Melt Deya on your own, too. Look at this guy, Barack, shit-hawking meta players when he is just as much of a meta slave as the rest of us. Back off, Sleepy Joe. At least I use meta to empower the weak as opposed to using it to achieve meaningless status symbols as 36 star abyss. I only clear the abyss because of the primogem rewards. What's that? Primogems, you know, the premium currency in Genshin Impact, the stuff you use to summon for characters. Those are called Genesis Crystals, you dumbass. Well, actually, Genesis Crystals are the currency you get when you purchase them from the stores. Uh, you're able to convert them to primogems for summons or 
exchange them for skins in the shop. Donald, do you even play the game? Okay, firstly, who cares about the details? The result is that I have beaten the spiral abyss before, and I'm plenty happy with my C6R5 D here. So why don't you both get off my dick and let's move on to the next topic? Sure, Donald. Let's disregard the fact that someone who spends $4,000 a month on this game struggles to beat the spiral abyss. I don't struggle, Barack. I simply refuse to participate in this rat race you guys call Endgame. If you want to see struggling, you should see Joe try to pronounce Shin Cho. Okay, we agreed to drop the discussion around the way I pronounce Shin Chu. There is literally no difference in the way we pronounce his name. You see, this is why the U.S. relations with China has taken a dive off a cliff since you entered the office. Now, travelers, let's keep focused on the discussion here. Moving on to the next point. Who do you think are the top three characters in the game at the moment? Chi Chi, Yula, and Dihia. What a load of shit. Currently, when it comes to usage Rate, it should be Bennett Zhongli and Nahida. If we're talking five stars, it should be Kazuha Zhongli and Nahida. The characters you just mentioned, Donald, have usage rates close to zero, by the way. Just like your dick. I swear to God, Donald. Now, now, travelers, Joe has a point here. When it comes to educating others on what they can use to help them clear the content in the game, we should try to recommend units that are easier to use while providing huge returns for investments. Followed up with that, we should equip the players with the knowledge on elemental synergies and proper team structures to then have themselves push forward into the realm of innovation. You know what would be innovative? If Hoyoverse decided to release units of actual value as opposed to whale bait through constellations? Sounds like someone wants Hu Tao C1. I don't need Hu Tao C1 to clear the content. Why would I want something that I don't need? That's rich coming from the guy who sticks to meta like two ass cheeks of someone who ate 10 laxatives before running a marathon. You know what, Donald? I don't need to hear it from someone who hasn't beaten the abyss in two years despite spending enough to feed a family of 10 in that same time frame. I agree with Joe on this one. Donald, you're you're not fit to be giving players advice on character strength as you lack the credentials when it comes to actually beating the game. All I'm saying is that the game is easy enough so that anyone can beat it with their eyes closed. So it shouldn't matter what or who you play. Really, Donald? I'd love to see you beat the game with your eyes closed. Relax, Sleepy Joe. You're just jealous that my Dihya, who is regarded as a bad unit, is rivaling your oh-so-precious Hu Tao. You spent $3,000 on your Dehya, and she still is barely keeping up with my free-to-play Hu Tao. Doesn't matter. Dehya is a hundred times the woman that Hu Tao is. I highly doubt that considering the Dehya main subreddit only has 20,000 users, whilst our Hu Tao main subreddit has 90,000. You mean 89,600? I round it up. So what? I mean, the Dehya main subreddit only has 19,900. They're happy? I wouldn't know I'm not on Reddit. Then how did you know the exact number of users in the Hu Tao main subreddit? Now, travelers, this conversation isn't getting anywhere. We can agree that both these characters has a fan base of their own whom are dedicated to their craft. You know, Joe, if you love Hu Tao so much, why don't you marry her? Considering you're approaching 110, maybe you'll get a family discount when you finally kick the bucket. Very funny, Donald. Even though Hu Tao is my waifu, I have devoted myself to being a simple and humble worshiper. My hands would only soil the pyro queen, and that appreciating her from a distant gaze is enough to calm my soul. Yeah, man, you need help. You wouldn't understand it as someone who changes waifus based on their cleavage size. Okay, travelers, that's about enough for today's discussions. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you would like us to rank characters next based on their respective niches. We will be exploring interesting categories such as Archons. Venti hard gaps, all Archons. Best support DPS. Be here. Best buffers and debuffers and much more. Get this video to 1,000 likes and we will get you episode two as early as tomorrow. Until next time, stay safe and peace, peace.